I literally have a shopping problem. This is everything that I bought in September. I just have no self-control. When I like something, I go all out. Hello everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I ended up moving all of my things onto the floor. It was just too much on my bed and it was making me overwhelmed. I have a very large stack of books, manga, merch, DVDs behind me. So I just wanted to make a video dedicated to all of the things that I bought in September these being just like my current obsessions, things that I just really want to read, things I just really want to collect. So without further ado, let's get started with my haul. Okay, I picked up some DVDs for the animes that I watched recently and really, really loved. I kind of splurged on these, but I got all of Kimi Sudoke and I got the premium edition. So what's really cool about the premium editions is I think it has a really pretty art. This is the first volume, super pretty. The second volume, and then the third volume, I'm obsessed with this picture. What's really cool about these is when you open it up, you get two DVDs. One is like an actual DVD and then one is a Blu-ray disc. What I really bought these for was I really wanted these booklets. When you look through them, it's just really pretty art. I just think a lot of it looks super stunning and I really love the Kimini Tadoke art style. I think it's so pretty. And then on the inside, it goes onto like what each episode is and then has like little stills from each episode. I truly loved this anime so I'm just really happy to have these booklets. Another DVD that I picked up that I really liked for the anime was Orange. I was able to get the exclusive version. It comes with this really pretty cover and I think the art on this is absolutely gorgeous. So obviously it comes with the DVD. Here has all the episodes. And then what was really nice about it too is that it came with a little booklet. So again with the art and it has just information on all of the characters in orange and I just think it's really cool. It also has just other artwork which I really like so I'm happy to have this. And another cool thing about it is that it came with an orange envelope just like it did in the anime and it came with little character cards. They're just so cute. So I love having that. Another DVD that I bought was Lovely Complex. This I absolutely fell in love with. This is what the front looks like. I think they're so, so cute. I think the artwork is really adorable. This is what the DVD looks like. Super excited to read the manga for this. And then I think this is my favorite DVD that I bought. I bought Nana. I want to cry looking at this. Okay, I'm not crying. I absolutely love this. When I read the manga, I think it's going to be my favorite manga. I can't explain how much love I have for the characters in this. I really relate to Hachi. I just think this anime was super, super special. And I know the manga is going to be just as special. So I'm trying to cherish it because I can't watch this again for the first time. What am I going to do after I finish reading the manga when I can't read it again for the first time, you know? This is what the DVDs look like. I'm super excited to have this. So we have Hachi, Nana, Ren, Yasu, Nobu, and Takumi. I'm super annoyed that Sheen didn't get one. And this is what the back looks like. And that brings me to show you the manga that I bought. I literally bought so much. Looking at it, I'm like, did I really spend that much money? I bought some volumes of Nana that they had available. So I got volume 1, 2, 5, 20, and 21. I also back ordered all of the ones that I'm missing on Barnes & Noble. I told myself that I want to wait for the physical copies to come in before I start reading this. I feel like I'm going to want to tab these and keep track of like my favorite scenes and I can't do that if I read it like on my Kindle or something. Oh my gosh, looking at this hurt. That's why I was so hesitant on starting Nana because I know it's been on hiatus for so long and it's not finished, but my friend Hannah was just like, you need to do it, you need to do it. And I was like, okay, and I did it and I love it, but it hurts knowing that it's not finished. This one, I'm super proud that I was able to collect everything, but I got all of the other volumes that I was missing in Kimi ni Tadoke. If you watched my last haul video, I was able to get about a third of Kimi ni Tadoke. Now I finally have the whole collection. So here are all the volumes that I was missing and that I was able to collect. I got volume 22, 21, 20, 19, 17, 16. This was probably my best find because this was an ex-library copy and it said it was an accepted condition meaning that it would probably be really crappy condition but you could still read it I bit the bullet and bought it because it was only like eight dollars people are selling this for like a crazy amount I, you can't find this anywhere and it was in like perfect condition I just had to take all the stickers off and do a little bit of cleaning this looks so good my best find volume 15 absolutely love this cover I love them 
volume 13, volume 12, volume 11, volume 10, volume 9, volume 8, volume 6, volume 5, volume 4, volume 3, and volume 2. I also picked up the Kimi Nitsudoke fan book. Super excited to have all of that completed. I think the covers look so, so good. Again, I'm obsessed with the artwork in Kimi Nitsudoke, so I'm super excited to finally have all 30 volumes, and I can't wait to start reading it. I was also able to complete another series that I really fell in love with after watching the anime, but super hard to find all the volume. But luckily, I was able to find someone selling the entire set. I bought all 17 volumes of Love Calm. Like, are you joking? I loved this anime, so I'm super excited to read this manga. And all the covers, they look so good. Are you kidding me? So cute. So here is volume 17. Volume 16 is so cute. Volume 15, 14, 13. Look how cute they are. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. I also picked up, I think this is an art book. It has a ton of colored images and illustrations, and I just think they look so good, so I'm super happy to have this in my collection. Okay, next I also picked up the Oran High School Host Club box set. I liked the anime and I wanted to see what happens next in the manga. And I feel like box sets are always a better deal than buying the individual volumes. As well as the Honey with Bun Bun Funko Pop. I'm really trying to get the Hikaru and Kaoru Funko Pop on Friday. Fingers crossed that I do. Right Stuff Anime was also having a sale. So I picked up some volumes of Love Sick Ellie. So I got volume 2, volume 3, volume 4, and volume 5. I have no idea what this is about, but it looks cute, so I bought it. And then, like I mentioned, I watched the anime Orange, so I bought the Orange manga. So here is the first one, the second one, and then Orange Future, which focuses on Sua's story. And I feel like this is gonna make me so sad, but I'm so ready to read this. I also picked up more volumes of Kamisama Kiss that came in stock. So I got volume two and 15. I'm still a long way from completing the series, but it's okay. I back ordered a lot of these volumes on Barnes & Noble, so hopefully I can get them soon. Then I found these on OfferUp, which I was super surprised about, but I was able to get volumes nine through 14 of Maid Sama. So that's super exciting. You guys know how much I love Maid Sama. So I'm super excited that I was able to get these. Then I found someone selling some complete series for under retail price. So I got all 12 volumes of Daytime Shooting Star. Here is volume 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, five, four, three, two, and one. I have no idea what this is about, but I think the art looks really cute. Then I also picked up the complete series for high school debut. I've heard really great things about this, so I'm super excited to read it. I got all of the three in one volumes. So here is one through three, four through six, seven through nine, 10 through 12, and 13 through 15. I picked these up on Depop when I was in the UK. I got volumes 12, 10, and 17. A Vampire Night, so I'm happy to have that. I'm only missing volume 16, so I hope I can get my hands on that soon, as well as the Vampire Night official fan book. I also picked up volume 5 of Vampire Dormitory, as well as Cheeky Brat volume 4. And then I found this on Mercari, but this is a Strobe Edge and Aohawi Rai illustration book. So when I saw this, I had to get it. Like, Look how cute everyone is. They look so good. I got all 12 volumes of Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. This was from a Mercari seller who was selling this under retail, so I was like, I just have to buy it. I don't really know what it's about. I think it's about a girl and she ends up with her celebrity crush, if I remember correctly. Volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, volume five, volume six. I think the artwork is so pretty. Volume seven, volume eight, volume nine, volume 10, volume 11, and lastly, volume 12. I bought Magnolia Parks, Magnolia Parks A Long Way Home, and Daisy Heights. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is the first book, the second book, and then the third book. I know this is a really popular series right now by Jessa Hastings. I feel like I've seen everyone read this and I needed to know what the hype was about, so I picked these up. I'm currently reading the first one right now and I don't really know what to think of it, to be honest. I'm like, what is this? I hope I like it. We'll see. And then, as a lot of you guys know, I read The Inheritance Games last month. Absolutely loved it. So I picked up the Hawthorne Legacy. I bought that at Barnes & Noble. Look how much I tapped this. As well as the Final Gambit Barnes & Noble Exclusive Edition because it has like a bonus chapter. Because I saw that this one had a bonus chapter. I was like, the other one probably had a bonus chapter too. So I found this on Pango Books for like 10 bucks. 
the Barnes & Noble exclusive. And this also came with a bonus chapter. So now I have two copies of the Hawthorne Legacy, but it's okay. And then if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love the whole Lancaster universe. I love things I wanted to say but never did. And A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. So I had to pick up Promises We Meant to Keep by Monica Murphy, which is Spencer and Sylvie's story. I haven't read this yet, but I've been highly anticipating this ever since Monica told me that she was going to write a book on Sylvie. So I'm super excited to read this and really happy to have this in my collection. I bought the first Fruits Basket illustration book. So now I have all three and then this is not up yet, but I also picked up a Fruits Basket poster because they did a Hello Kitty collab, but I also bought a bunch of merch. So I will go ahead and show you guys that as well. Made Sama came out with officially licensed merch. I bought this Usui sweater. It is embroidered. I also picked up this Misa embroidered sweater and another Usui one because why not? I'm washing all of my shirts right now, but I'll put like pictures of what I bought. But I bought a Made Sama shirt and then for the Hello Kitty collab, I bought whatever they had available on Box Lunch. So I bought the Toru one, the Kyo one, and the Yuki one all in a size large so I could have these as like sleep shirts because I think that would be super cute. That is it for today's YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my haul and just seeing the things that I bought this month. My shelf literally has no room so be on the lookout for a bookshelf reorganization revamping video because I need to get that all situated. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.